Shalom dudes, I'm Hyla. Welcome to Hyla Cooking. Today we're going to show you a very special Passover recipe with my friend Amy from What Do You Want to Eat? Gefilte fish. <laughs> I think I pronounced that right. Pretty close. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is like, we're going to chop up some fish to make our fish dumplings. We do. Um, what do we, we've got salmon and cod? We do. We just start hacking at it? Yeah, you want to make it as small as possible so it's easy to kind of make into the ball. Okay. So I kind of just started cutting into small pieces. Okay. To make it a little more easy to, to manage. And we got some salmon here, which is not traditional, right? That's correct. I think it makes it a little fancier, a little, and a little it's, tastier. And it's cute, a little pink color. Exactly. Prettier balls. <laughs> <laughs> so, always good. <laughs> I am 12. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess we could use a food processor, but then your food processor gets all stinky. Exactly. I don't like to mess up my food processor. Yeah. And not everyone has one. Exactly. And they certainly didn't have them in the desert. Yeah, we're trying to do traditional. Yeah. Just like ancestors in Egypt. Mm -hmm. I think that's pretty good though. Okay, cool. So now we'll mix it with our other things to make our dumpling balls. Make some balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our fish is very elegantly chopped. Beautiful. And I sauteed you some onions. Thank you. As per your request. <laughs> That's right. Do everything I say. <laughs> and... Does look great? Good. And then I got you some matzo meal, but it says not for Passover. I didn't see that part. Yeah, that's okay. Since it's not Passover yet, we can still eat it. But I don't even know why they make not for kosher matzo meal, because it's not something people normally eat on a daily basis. But... Right. Although I guess you could make fried chicken That's and that like would be yeah that, that would be delicious um but, um but you can at home i just like to take matzo and just crunch it up into into my own flour okay and then you can use the kind of matzo that you like too okay with so uh, different brands that taste better than okay. others oh mm -hmm. okay i just assumed they were all the same oh no <laughs> there are some that resemble cardboard and some that are more like a pretty good cracker oh okay mm -hmm. good all right that was the parsley okay that you, that you asked for <laughs> i figured yeah <laughs> Um, would you use your processor to make matzo crumbs or would you just crumble them? Yeah, you could do that. Again, I, I don't like to clean stuff, so I just, I just crunched it up with a knife and got into pretty small pieces. Okay. It's not going to get as so round as the flour. It doesn't have to be that it's fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. They'll still get the matzo ball or the gefilte fish balls to stick there. It might even be a better texture with bigger chunks. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll add our fish now that we've both washed our hands mm -hmm. and gotten the fish smell off. <laughs> Let's get it back we on. We will now get it back on. That's okay. I love the color that the salmon adds to it, too. Yeah, really and the pretty. parsley's going to be mm -hmm. really pretty. Yeah. Should I just use my hands? Yeah, go for it. Okay. You're the professional. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your word for it. It just seems yeah, like just that's going to work a there. lot. Yeah. yeah. Just, that's more fun. Yeah. And I got fish under my nails. Mm-hmm. I like to just try to make a fish ball right off the bat and just see if it'll form into a ball. Okay. That's all you want. Like as big as an egg? Yeah. That looks like a pretty good ball to me. Yeah. That's holding together like in a good little exactly. ball shape. Yeah. All right. I guess that'll work. That'll work. All right. Now we're ready Those to cook great. them, right? Yes. Cool. Let me wash it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I made you fish stock. Hooray. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Let's simmer some balls. <laughs> Oh, your balls are in hot water now. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna kind of plop it in. Yeah, just gently. Okay. You want to break your balls? Mm -mm. <laughs> don't don't bust my balls. <sighs> okay. And you want to put them in a single layer too, not no overlapping balls here. Okay. All right. We'll see if I can fit them all in. You got it. And if not, we'll just throw that one away and pretend it didn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> I've done that to you. <laughs> like, oh, one more cookie dough. I can eat it. Like, I can just, just, I'll just make it disappear. <laughs> All right. That's great. Okay, so we'll just simmer it. Yeah, for... simmer for about 10 minutes. You can use a test one to open it up and see if it's cooked. Yeah, we'll probably do that. Yeah. That seems good. Sacrifice one. Yeah. Make it common good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That seems very much in keeping. Yeah, the holiday. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Sacrifice, pun intended. <laughs> so, these have been cooling for a little while, and we cut this one open to see how done it was, and it was done, because you can see it's all flaky in the inside. 
And I've got the horseradish dill sauce. Mm -hmm. Which I just plop some on top. Yeah. Bleep. Okay. And you could make that with red horseradish too. I think it'd be really pretty in pink. That would. It yeah. would go with the, the pink salmon. Exactly. Okay. Let's dig in. What do you think? Oh, pretty good. It's good, right? Yeah. Delicious. Is that your first fish ball? It is. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad to be here for that. Me too. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to go for another bite. Yeah, me too. I like <laughs> it more than I thought I would like it. Oh, good. Did, um, the little fish just gets a bad rap just because I think the jar kind is so gross. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But homemade is delicious. Yeah. I mean, it's just, if you like fish, then you would definitely like this. Mm -hmm. And you yeah. don't even have to be Jewish to enjoy it. This is true. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for coming Thanks on, Thanks for having me. I appreciate Yay. it. That Yay. was fun. It was Yay. fun. All right. Well, happy mm -hmm. Passover. Thank you. Everyone. Happy Easter. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's unity. We're like a Benetton commercial. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. Um, have a great day. Hope you try the recipe. If you Bye. have any questions, leave them in the comments and um, get to them ASAP.